The Maine Charitable Mechanic Association was founded in 1815 as a craftsman's guild to teach and promote excellence among Portland's various mechanical and artistic trades. Scott Andrews is a historian at the Ski Museum of Maine and recently spoke at the library about the history of skiing and some of Maine's early Swedish settlers. Some of the longest ski races ever run anywhere on earth were run in Arista County. There was a series of marathons, the longest of which started in the downtown, the streets of downtown Bangor and ended up in the streets of downtown Caribou. Uh, distance is 176 miles. It took four days and three overnights to run that. Well, Scott, um, you, you just gave this wonderful talk here at the Maine Charitable Mechanics um, Library about skiing in Maine, the whole history. Tell us of your interest. Well, I'm a passionate skier myself. Mm -hmm. I have been skiing in Maine since, uh, well, since I grew up with grandparents in, in Norway, down the little hills and so on. I've been a real passionate skier and almost a full-time skier, some people say, from the mid-80s up until the present time. And I'm very fortunate that I'm in a business where I can make a substantial portion of my living in the ski business, either by lecturing about it or by writing about it or by uh, helping to run the ski museum. And that is one of your passions, the Ski Museum of Maine. Yes. Uh, we started about six years ago. We're currently open five days a week uh, from nine to six, and I believe that we'll quickly move to seven-day operation uh, once the ski season starts. We're in Kingfield, about 10 miles from Sugarloaf, and we have a, a staff member who lives right in the area. I live in Portland, of course. Well, it's a wonderful location, uh, given the uh, proximity to um, Sugarloaf and all the people from around the world who come um, have a chance to stop at the museum. Yes, and we doubly benefit because we're in, with the, in the same building and share some space with the Sugarloaf Mountain Ski Outlet. Mm -hmm. So practically anybody who wants to buy equipment who passes through that area is going to uh, pass either through our museum or within a few feet of it. So we, we draw people who come to buy equipment or buy things like lip balm and so on, and the ski shop benefits from the fact that people want to visit the museum, come through their shop too. It's a, <laughs> It's a good symbiotic relationship. Well, I learned a few things today. Um, the history of skiing in Maine, of course, people think of skiing when they think of Maine, after lobster, I think, or maybe they're tied. Um, but uh, w skiing began in New Sweden, Maine, or Sweden, Maine? Sweden, uh, uh, skiing in Maine arrived in 1870 in the town of New Sweden, Maine. New Sweden was established by a group of 51 immigrants who had been um, um, recruited in Sweden by a representative of the state government. And they sailed in June of 1870, and they arrived in late July and ho basically homesteaded in the town of New Sweden. And in subsequent years, Subsequent waves of Swedes came on the same homesteading deal, and they settled in towns like Stockholm and Westmanland, Perham, Woodland, and these are the towns that today call themselves Maine's Swedish colony. Yeah. And when they came, they, they packed their skis and bring no, them with I them? I don't believe that they, they packed their skis. These were very primitive, handmade skis. I think they were pretty much done by craftsmen in their own shops. Mm -hmm. But that sort of introduced skiing to that the state. It certainly introduced skiing to the state. Mm -hmm. And it remains one of the strongholds of the sport in the state. Mm -hmm. And that is a, more of a cross-country uh, ski, skiing? No, it's, it's one of the Nordic, yeah. Nordic sports. Uh, Nordic is defined as cross-country and jumping. Mm -hmm. And those are two aspects that were initially popular in Aristic County. Jumping has kind of fallen away, but... In the last few years, we've seen a huge resurgence in the popularity of biathlon, mm -hmm. which is not one of the original Nordic sports, but is, is becoming probably the dominant sport in Aroostook County. 
that's amazing. And um, there's been a huge growth in in the cross country skiing. Um, the schools are are offering it now as a, a physical education uh, class and a competitive sport. Yes, and a lot of that is due to the Maine Winter Sports Center, which is funded by a, a Portland uh, organization known as the Libra Foundation. And it was the late Elizabeth Noyes who founded that. And under the direction of Owen Wells, who is a Portland uh, fellow and a, a, an enthusiastic skier from Portland, and Andy Shepard, who lives in Yarmouth, they established the Maine Winter Sports Center about 11, 12 years ago, and it's, it's become the, the, the history-making force in Maine right now. Well, I think we'll be skiing for years and years forever here in Maine, and uh, thank you for all the work you do and the wonderful presentation today. And if people want to know more, we'll put your web page right up on the screen. Okay. Thank, thank you. you so much, Leslie.